I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on vectors. Now this is a very popular question in many test papers and in multiple choice test papers you could expect such a question. If adjacent sides of a parallelogram are a i plus 2j b 2i plus j then the angle between the diagonals is what? So let's sketch and then try to figure it out, right? Let's say this is one side of a parallelogram. That is the other side of a parallelogram. So we are given that the two sides are i plus 2j. Let's call this as a, right? And this one we are given as 2i plus j. Then we need to find the angle between the diagonals of this, right? So, so let's first complete the parallelogram, right? So okay and then drawing a line parallel from here that gives you the parallelogram as far as the diagonals are concerned this is one of the diagonals whose which will be like a plus b right where this is side b for us the other will be a minus b so let's just join it so this is a minus b when we say we want to find the angle between the diagonals, that means we are looking for this angle. So let's call this angle as alpha. So we need to find that angle. So how will you find the angle? So to find the angle, we could use the dot product, right? So from here, since these are the two vectors, let's say this is one vector, correct? And this is the other vector. So, so these are the two vectors and the angle between them we need to find. So we can say that a plus b dot a minus b that is going to give us the angle alpha, right? So that is equal to magnitude of a plus b times magnitude of a minus b times cos of theta, right? So that is the dot product formula. So from here, by rearranging, we can get cosine theta. So we get cos theta as equal to the dot product of these, a plus b dot a minus b, divided by their magnitudes. Right. So these are the vectors times a minus b. Correct. Okay. So that is what uh, will give us the answer. Now what is a plus b? So let's find out what is a plus b and what is a minus b. So let's do our calculations here first. We know vector a is 1 plus 2j. So we know a equals to i plus 2j and b is equals to 2i plus j. So vector a plus b will be equal to 3i plus 3j. And vector a minus b is going to be minus i minus, and this minus this will be plus j. So these are the vectors. Now, so we could use the dot product here. So we get, for a plus b, we get 3i plus 3j dot minus i plus j. Now their magnitudes are 3 square plus 3 square square root. So we'll write 3 square plus 3 square square root. And this magnitude is 1 square plus 1 square square root. Correct. So let's do the dot product now. So 3 times this will give us minus 3 and that will give us plus 3. So the numerator is 0. Here we have 9, 18 square root. And here we get 2 square root. However, that is 0. So cos theta equals to 0 means theta equals to cos inverse of 0 which is 90 degrees. So our answer is 90 degrees. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to find solution to this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.